You can get plastic ones, right? but brass is better. Okay? You can get a much tighter fix on it. Okay? Use another tap connector and make sure that tightens up onto there. Okay? It's the same size as the base and tap toe. You see? And then that is exactly the same as before. You have the same 15 mil pipes that you've been using. But, point to not, okay? When you put it in position, okay? You're going to tighten up that way, okay? Get it nice and tight. Lift the lid off the WC and have a look at the float valve, because as you tighten that, it could twist, bring that float valve around and wedge against the side of the system. Okay, so when you fill it with water, the float valve cannot move and it will just literally overflow. If you see water coming down the pan constantly, it's not sealed inside or the float valve hasn't shut the water off. When you move it to position, remember to straddle it okay, and just remove it without the lid on. Okay, because it will fall off. In this position, the taps are going to be at this end. Base and taps on, right, the pipe in, pad connector on. Work in your pairs, once we've done that, then we'll move down the board and then we're going to start piping it on. We'll put the water pipes in first, okay, in sections, jump it between copper and plastic so you get to use both materials. Okay. We'll pipe it all up with the water supply. Then we'll put the waste in, okay? I'm not much to chat about the waste pipes. Then we'll liven it up. Hence tomorrow right, is usually referred to as Wet Thursday. So let's try and break that tradition, shall we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 